Well, as we watch the system in the Gulf, meteorologists from across the country just happen to be in New Orleans this week for the National Hurricane Conference. Yeah, that includes local weather expert Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin, who spoke today with the nation's top hurricane forecaster. Well, at the National Hurricane Conference here in New Orleans, I'm with the director of the National Hurricane Center, Ken Graham. And Ken, this is the first big weather meeting that we've gotten to hold since the pandemic began. How's it going? Uh, it's incredible because if you think about the weather business, it's all about partnerships and to be able to be back here eyeball to eyeball with everybody and, and the emergency managers and, and the media. And that's what it's all about. And to be back in person, it's, it's incredible. And that's what we really need to do at this time. And, and looking back at that record hurricane season, what did you folks learn? What should the public take away from the historic season? What, what, what are some of the points that you would say we, we drew from that? Yeah, just about, it's all about preparedness. I mean, you think about Louisiana with the four landfalls and just relentless, right? If you, if, I, I could just remember the whole season using the word relentless, and it's all about that preparedness. It's about the impacts, and they're all different. You know, you go back to, to Hurricane Laura and you have the wind, but you also have that incredible, unsurvivable uh, storm surge in that situation. But the indirect fatalities is something we have to talk about some more because we lost 19 people in Hurricane Laura from carbon monoxide poisoning. So even though storms passed you, there's still dangers associated with that. So we got to keep talking about those dangers even after the storm. And speaking of some of the dangers and, and perhaps maybe more the vulnerabilities, you're very familiar with Southeast Louisiana, South Mississippi, having been the, the, the head of the National Weather Service office here. What are maybe some of the, the, the top vulnerabilities you can think of for residents here? Well, you, know, you think about the historically 80 percent of fatalities, it's water. You know, you think about the storm surge, you think about the rainfall, um, you know, these systems, especially slow ones, you know, you get these slow, large systems. And I don't know where those rain bands are going to set up two, three days ahead of time. But wherever they do, you, you could see just so much rainfall. So you got to be ready for that. You got to be ready for the flooding. You got to be ready for the surge. That's what's really hurting people. That doesn't mean the wind's not dangerous. But historically, most of the fatalities are with water. So know your risk, know where you are, listen to those local officials, and you know, they'll tell you to get out of those areas you got to. All right, and before we let you go, to address the elephant in the room or maybe the elephant in the Gulf, 92L, what are, what are some of the, the, the latest thinking on it? It's, it's been one of those wait and see. It's, it's a wait and see. We see these so many times in the, in the genesis phase when there's, they're just forming. There's a lot of uncertainty. But yeah, look, whether it develops or not, there's a lot of rain on the way. Where it's going to take place, we're not really sure yet. We've got to get ready for some heavy rain. Ken, thank you so much. And don't take this personal, but I hope we don't have to talk at all this season. I agree. I really agree. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank Ken Grimm with the National Hurricane Center.